ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to a sold-out boardwalk hall. We'll get to know you here in the opening round scheduled for 10. Leonard's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Mike Tyson's cheek is cut, and you can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. There he goes with the right hand again. Tyson smashed by an uppercut. Teddy, what are your expectations? What do you think we're going to see out of Sugar Ray tonight? Oh, you're going to see what you always see to a certain extent, blinding ability. Just great talent. You know, he has power, he has speed. You know, and a lot of times when you see that, you think about the head. You know, a lot of those guys that are real speed merchants, like Sugar Ray Leonard, they go right upstairs to that top. But he pays attention to the body. Don't be surprised if you see some body work. Not precise at all by Mike Tyson. Teddy, as for how Mike Tyson made his way to upstate New York to be with you and Customato, he got himself into some trouble to make his way up there. He had been arrested somewhere, I'm not sure the number, close to 30 times by the time he was 11 years old. And during that time, one of the guards was a former fighter. Actually, his name was Bobby Stewart. And when he found out, when Tyson found that out, he had Sugar Ray Leonard's crush by a big right hand. Blocks that belt line well. Mike Tyson's ripped by an uppercut. Both men digging in with uppercuts. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Red hot action to open up this fight. Both men throwing, both men landing. It's been a long time since I've seen something like this. I think it was in a film library. Watchman Hammer and Hank, the great Henry Armstrong, never took a step backwards, kept going forward. That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. Good job. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Mike Tyson. He engages in the clinch. They both decide to bring it. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Should be a real interesting matchup here in this fight because no doubt about it, Ray has a target on him and he's got a power puncher standing opposite him. Yeah, but that's what the good thing about being Sugar Ray Leonard is because he's so solid in so many areas. He's technically solid. And you know what that means? That means defensively he knows what he's doing too. So he's going to find a way to disarm this guy with the bomb. He knows how to technically, how to physically, how to defensively get rid of that power. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue or red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Nice block by Sugar Ray Leonard. Leonard's doing a really good job of being defensively sound, of being patient, and waiting for that golden opportunity for some offense to come in the mix. Well, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting for a mistake to be made. You know, he wants a lead out of his opponent right now so he can make a miss and bang, come right back with that hook. Sugar Ray Leonard lands a big left hand. Leonard's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Takes one to give one, he comes back with a right hand. Halfway through round number two. Did you see that? There he goes. He goes down for that headshot. Well, 
not all knockdowns are created equal. I think the knockout victim here is actually pretty fine. Yeah, that was a flash knockdown. You know, he went down, he got up right away. Now what he has to make sure he doesn't go past that flashpoint. Sugar Ray Leonard's jacked by an uppercut. Use the ring! Use the ring! You see him holding on. Teddy, in terms of pure strategy, facing Mike Tyson, what can you take advantage of? Well, he needs to be set to punch, so obviously you don't want to stand right in front of him. You want to give him angles. You want to give him some lateral movement. Keep him off balance. Keep his feet moving. If his feet are moving, his hands usually are not coming at you. Look at that combination by Sugar Ray Leonard. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Good. Deep breath. Deep breath. Mike Tyson's got to rely on his corner now to do what it takes to get him back physically and mentally. It's always a challenge when you've hit the ground. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Sugar Ray Leonard. Here's the moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here. Oh, just ate a big uppercut. He's in. There it is. Tyson goes down. Once again, Tyson goes down. But will he get up again? So many people point to the downfall of Mike Tyson, but few remember how he would get up off the canvas time and time again in some of those toughest fights. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Unload! Keep moving! Keep moving! Yeah. How about that left hand? He just missed that shot up top. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Sugar Ray Leonard lands the big uppercut. Leonard's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. And yet another big shot comes in. Forget about the judges. This one may be over now. Mike Tyson's down, and he looks like he's in bad shape. When you fall that way, you usually don't get up. Somehow, some way, he's gonna continue on here. And if he's gonna stay in this fight, now he's gotta avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. Blocks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. crashing home. He goes down and he doesn't look good at all. Mike Tyson's gonna need a minor miracle to survive this. He's gonna need a great will and desire to survive it. That's it. It's over. Fight is over. Sugar Ray Leonard's corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, your winner, Sugar Ray Leonard. I 
never saw that coming. An early.